This is Talking Tactics, the podcast that celebrates enrollment success one tactic at a time. The catch? The tactic had to be done with limited resources, either by a single person, a small but mighty team, limited time, or with a low budget. I'm your host, Diana Kibiltz, Strategy Director at Ology, and I'll be interviewing the most creative and resourceful folks across higher ed to break down a single tactic, from idea to results so you can try them too. Are you ready? Let's talk tactics. Hello, hello to all my favorite listeners and possibly also my mom. Hi, mom. Welcome to Talking Tactics. On today's episode, we are going to talk about a challenge that a lot of schools face. How do you talk about research in a way that people actually care about and engage with? and eventually also turn that into reputation for academic excellence. I know so many schools out there want to be known for their research strengths, but saying we're good at research is not enough. Today's guest has an incredible tactic that can help, and it's on Reddit. With us today is Lucy Guest. Lucy is currently the communications manager for digital engagement at the University of Warwick in the UK. Lucy has over eight years of digital marketing experience and social media expertise, having built entire communities for multiple universities in the UK, and really knowing how to leverage trends and student-generated content. Today, she's going to talk to us about how she got over 1.6 million views and almost 1,000 shares on a university research article about incontinence on Reddit. Welcome to the show, Lucy. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I am I'm a big fan of the content that you make. I only really get to see it secondhand, like you share what you make. So I'm just pumped to talk to you uh, about, about this really cool way to showcase research today. Yeah, and I think this is the thing, like we always are searching for that opportunity to share research and for then eventually for that to plug into recruitment for PhD. And yeah, really excited. Yeah. So take us back to the beginning. So we are all looking for opportunities to to share research. Uh, what were you trying to improve or solve for your school and for your school's goals? So I joined Warwick in October 2022. So I came in very much looking to build our foundations, expand what we had, and really looking at solidifying what we did. When I joined, we had Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and we were just getting control of the university YouTube. So, you know, the real kind of standards, but again, thinking about that research audience, but also how you can get that much more kind of public engagement audience with it. It just wasn't there because the main thing was, yeah, we'll just put a tweet out. Okay, well, well, what does that do? Are you reaching the right people there? And as we all know, there are some instabilities there. So just thinking about what's the long-term plan for that. So for me, there was a real gap in our approach to How do we share key research stories? As a research intensive university, we're part of the Russell Group in the UK. That's really core to our teaching. How do we have that as one of our kind of key application points? Just thinking about how we could have that that whole research as one of our key reasons people apply to, to study with us. How do we tell them about that? So for me, what we needed to do was find a place where we could speak to the right person at the right time somewhere they already are, rather than us looking to kind of almost shoehorn it into, say, amazing Instagram feed that's all about what's happening on campus, because that just doesn't always feel like it aligns. That doesn't give our our users the best journey. I've had experience in previous roles at other universities on Reddit. I also use it personally for things like finding maps for my Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. So (laughs) (laughs) it's a very versatile platform. So for me, it was very much a... I know Reddit is out there. I know I can find the right people. And actually, how much resource is it going to cost me? Because the the tactic I'm here to talk about today actually is really simple and and really easy on that resource. If you are a team of one, which lots of social teams are, actually, all you need is that PR story with the piece of research. You can upload it to a subreddit called science. It's literally r slash science. And that's it. It will automatically pull the title from your link. It just needs to be peer reviewed, less than six months old. On average, it takes about five to 10 minutes. And then, of course, you need to think about afterwards having that community management. But 
realistically, when you care, compare that to, say, organizing a TikTok short form explainer video, that's, that's you know, 15, Not 20 minutes. Not that much time. Hour. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, okay. Wow. Okay. Based on all that you just said, I have a few questions to try to uh, see how we can, if I were somebody listening to you, I'm like, I, I want to do this, but I have no idea how Reddit works. So... For Reddit, for our listeners, Reddit is made up of sub communities. And there are some folks like Lucy that are like really aware. My husband, I have to say, he's a big Redditor, but I'm not allowed to know his Reddit username. So I can't find his activity because it is truly like a place on the internet where everyone finds community. So you came up, Lucy, with the idea of Reddit because you knew that there could be a potential audience there for your research articles, right? Okay. And then something you said super interesting is you don't really have to do a lot in order to participate on Reddit. If you find the right subreddit, you can use content that already exists. So talk to us about that. Like, what does the implementation of this look like? You have an article that, you know, somebody at your university wrote a news story about. And maybe you as a social media manager, you know what it is about or isn't about. (laughs) How do you, right? Because that happens. Yeah. Um, How do you find the right subreddit to post and what do you post on there? I think that's the thing. For for me, it's all about finding that right community. Reddit is very much like old style forums. So you can search for a topic like science or, I don't know, let's say you're talking about research into Jane Austen. Jane Austen, and there will probably be a couple of communities. It's worth just going into the site as an initial thing, maybe just spending half an hour, an hour just exploring to feel a bit more familiar not just with how things look, but how it feels, the kind of conversations that are happening. I think, as we all know, as marketers going into a space and then being very obvious, hello, I'm a brand, doesn't feel like it would help with that community building. <laughs> we want to feel like we're, we're part of that community and Reddit is that ultimate test of community because if you aren't part of that community, then your content won't perform and the moderators will look at taking might, it down in some cases. They might delete it. Yeah. They might kick you out. As <laughs> someone that was once banned from Reddit, and I can't, I don't know why, be careful out there. Be careful. I'm back now. I'm back. <laughs> I disputed. I'm back. Good, good. Uh, I'm glad to hear the appeal went well. But I think that's the thing, just going out and finding them. For me, one of the criteria I'm always looking for is that moderation presence. So things like science or another great one is Ask Historians, which is all focused on academic research. And they're a fantastic community. They organize like academic conferences too. So definitely worth checking out. It's it's just about just looking through. We had a really niche piece not long after I, I started using Reddit at Warwick about crystallography, which was not something I'd ever heard of before. So I had to do a bit of uh, Googling to find out what it was. Um, but it's about finding that audience. Now you can take that as far as you want. One of the subreddits I'm looking to expand into is one that's called Damn That's Interesting, which is just photos and videos of interesting stuff, which doesn't sound like something you could use for research, but imagine like a time lapse of an experiment of how to build an engine or new fuels, things like that could be really cool. So from my point of view, I think if you're thinking about Reddit, first thing is check it out see where you could find your niches, but also think about what are your priorities as a marketer? Is your university really well known for its history research? Is it really well known for maths? Are you really looking to connect with potential teacher training students? So so thinking about, okay, it's, it's that whole, you know, finding that persona piece where your potential students are. Who do you want to talk to? I'm really lucky in that obviously one of our content pillars is research because that has that knock-on effect much more widely. But if you're thinking about that student recruitment focus, okay, cool. What are your priority areas for student recruitment? Tailor those things there. The other thing to add is you don't always need an actual news story written on your website. If you're happy to send them to other places, you can just take a journal article. So like if there's a piece in nature, you can just link straight to that. Because again, the main thing is it's peer reviewed and it's less than six months old for that science piece. For other stuff, you might not even need that peer review. It might be a more general thing that you could share, I don't know, a blog post. So yeah, there's there's loads of stuff. I think it's just also thinking about, because it's really easy, and I know I do it myself, it's that don't get overexcited and just try and pace yourself with things rather than picking stuff up and going, Wah. Um, Yeah. Yeah. With Reddit, you have to be really careful about your behavior because um, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do like a, one of those analogy sentences here. Um, Marketing is to Reddit as like blood is to sharks or something. Yeah. 
it's 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 a <laughs> rabbit hole you will absolutely go down it like you will and like as soon you know if someone if a moderator or a user picks up on any kind of promotional language or behavior like you will immediately be shunned so you have to be you have to really think about why you're posting content and everything Lucy is saying is exactly the right way to do it. Like think about your audience, think about what would help or benefit them and then give them that. Like that's, that's really all it is. As you were speaking, I, it kind of occurred to me, you know, thinking about research is not just being a recruitment purpose, right? Like talking about research is not just about reputation for recruitment, but you can also, you know, attract other, you can attract faculty, you can attract staff, you can kind of really change the reputation of your school amongst peer circles. That one thing you can do is ask your professors that authored the research, hey, what subreddits, what subreddits are you active in, right? Because they probably are reading and looking at stuff. So that's a good way to also think about what subs you might research to po- to post your own stories. The other kind of really cool benefit that occurred to me as you were speaking is people on Reddit will see what you post if they're in that community. But any student Googling your school, Reddit ranks really well in search results, right? So talk about, it is, talk about free kind of reputation, organic search results, related content right so yeah. and it's great. Also, this is awesome when you're doing that search stuff lots of universities even if you're not doing it as a as a social team as a marketing team yourselves lots of them will have their own subreddit for that university that's a way to a understand better what your current students are looking for and b see how they're interacting with perspectives reconnect with some of your alumni In higher education, it's almost impossible to truly stand out. Ology gets it. As a branding and marketing agency that focuses on education, they understand what makes you authentic is also what makes you distinct. Ology offers award-winning creative, smart strategy, innovative thinking, and expert digital marketing. Most of all, they'll help you connect with your audiences, bring your stakeholders together, and achieve the results that matter most to you. Want to find out more about how you can build a compelling brand or campaign? Visit ology.com. That's O-L-O-G-I-E dot com. And mention that Day from Talking Tactics sent you their way. Were there any challenges that you faced? Uh, Were there any obstacles to overcome? Did anyone resist posting their research on Reddit? Um, Talk to us about that. So there's a couple for me. Number one, I don't think it's going to be a surprise to a lot of people, senior leadership exceptions. Reddit has a little bit of a unpopular reputation, I would say, because people have heard, you know, about some of the darker corners of it. And we can't pretend that there aren't not nice parts of the internet. It was for me a real persuasion opportunity to, you know, get some of my CDN leadership on board with us launching this and actually showing, well, this is what I can give you if you let me do it. Just let me try. Let me have a test and learn. I'm really lucky that I have that trust to just go and test and learn. But for me, it's also about if you are thinking about doing it and you're facing that problem, you can use Warwick as a case study. I'm, I'm absolutely happy to, to <laughs> have a chat about that. But like part of it is also, OK, thinking about what is that gap? What is that gap that Reddit's kind of fulfilling for you? The other kind of main challenge I faced, I was coming into Warwick. I was recruiting an entirely new team. And I'm the only member of the team who came with any experience of Reddit. None of my team used it personally. So stuff like TikTok that we were launching in parallel, everyone was like, yeah, great. I love TikTok. I know how to use it. And then I'm here like, hello, let's talk about Reddit. Do you want to get involved? What does that look like? It's that almost getting your peers on board, getting your team on board, showing them the value of it in a world where we're almost constantly talking about what's the latest TikTok trend? How do I use this audio? Thinking about short form video and that kind of, trip from short form video through to kind of text based feels for some people like a really weird transition. So convincing them and then supporting them through that journey of actually things can look different and that's okay. You know, that's actually you adding more skills to your set rather than not getting to do the fun and exciting bit because this is fun and exciting just in a different way. So they've done a really great job. They've really fully embraced it. I'm really proud of my team every single day. I I mean, I, I can tell. And, and that's why I'm so excited that you're here. And, you know, this this that you're saying is so interesting to me, because when we 
Talk about social at universities. We're all thinking the audios and the trendy videos and the beautiful pictures and the community building uh, from a almost from a recruitment student perspective, sometimes an alumni affairs perspective. I just find it so brilliant that you saw you somehow connected the dots to to think we can post article like peer reviewed research articles on Reddit and it's going to get us results. Uh, I just think that's genius. I mean, I I would love to say I'm the first person who's thought of it. I am not, but I think that's the thing of as as marketers, particularly in in an industry where there are so many amazing people, I think it's all us just being part of that community and sharing stuff when we know stuff works. And yeah, bringing stuff to the table. I always think that's one of the wonderful things about working in higher ed is that we have each other's backs. That's right. And like every person listening to this now, I, I highly encourage you to go and find some articles to post on Reddit because <laughs> Lucy's about to tell us the results that they saw and they're really astounding. So walk us through that, Lucy. So what kind of outcomes did you get from this? So to give you a bit of background, we uh, at Warwick have our own medical school. So that is a really big part of what, what we talk about, what we do and what that that looks like for, for sharing content. So this particular story was about a, a piece of research between uh, kind of led by work researchers and a UK-based charity um, that essentially looked into the injuries and the experiences of the one in five people um, who experienced anal incontinence after childbirth. It was a, a qualitative stu- study. So essentially it's looking at a smaller group, but the results were really quite surprising, you know, um, they found missed opportunities in diagnosis. Um, there was really a lack of awareness, even among medical medical professionals, of the, the situation. My press team, fantastic bunch of people. They were doing loads of really cool stuff, like trying to get breakfast TV on it. They were trying to get major newspapers. And then I'm here like, OK, well, what can I do with that? You know, I can ask them for a video. I can ask to do, you know, a Twitter takeover. I can do some kind of Twitter thread. But actually, for me, looking at this Reddit was a really important opportunity. So on that Reddit post, which again, we have linked straight through to the published journal article, we have kind of shared a summary in the title, um, had over, yeah, over a million views, more than 10,000 upvotes, which for Reddit. Oh, pretty wow. Good. Pretty good. That I'm going to take that. huge. We had more than 700 comments on that post. So thinking about not just sharing that research, but starting a conversation, which was the really difficult piece. So for me, again, that was, you know, probably 20 minutes work, which in the grand scheme of things, when you think about to-do lists, it's not a lot. But to have that kind of results and be able to go to my director of comms, like, yeah, press team have done amazing work. Look what I can bring you. I can do this more if you can, you know, give me the stories that I want to use. I can go out and find them. And I think that's the real power of it, because as we all know, data can really help tell that story. We have to shape it a bit, but data is is really helpful. So what's really impressive about this is, I mean, I don't know if you have the the comparison numbers like through other channels, but thinking about 700 comments, over a million and a half views, all these upvotes, all these interactions, like what other channel could have given you that for this single article? I can tell you that Twitter was nowhere near comparative. <laughs> um, and I think this is the thing. That is an exceptional story. I, I, will, I will grant you that one did incredibly well. But I've posted two stories so far in, in August. Again, in that science subreddit, still fairly simple. And we have had, what? Um, one that I've posted today has over 95 upvotes over 20 comments and then the today today wow the other post which we put out about a week and a half ago has over 150,000 views 283 upvotes 63 comments again simple and it's just one of those things that you can just put in your social analytics report of like yeah I'm getting you these figures and when you do your strategy you're like yeah research is a core part of this and it's then for ticking that big box for your, your university leadership, because they obviously want to know that you're sharing research. And then you can say, okay, well, long term, this is how I see this translating through. I'm getting you the social listening insights for, for students. I'm getting you other stuff. The other big thing that I quite like using Reddit for is local community news. 
So you can also touch base with people in your local area. I haven't done it so much uh, at Warwick, but one of the previous universities I used to work for was, was the University of Reading down in Berkshire. And every time we had an open day, we would make sure we did a post in the local community subreddit just saying, this is happening. If you're having problems with parking, this is how you get in touch with our security team. You know, you're more than welcome to come on the day because it's things like that where like you can just touch base, you can start to build that relationship and it's starting to have that positive experience. And that's why I say like Reddit's about community. It can be about the research community. It can be about your neighborhood community. It can be about your student community, but community is at the heart of it. Oh, I just, I just love that. I love, I love those tips. I love the being where they are, going where they are, giving them something useful. This is fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing this idea. What, what are your big plans for Reddit now that you see that this is working? Is there anything you're hoping to try? So the next big thing on my list to try on Reddit is something called AMAs, which if anyone is a Reddit user, they will be familiar with. So AMA stands for Ask Me Anything. And essentially, it's Reddit's version of the Q&A. Um, you have had people from Barack Obama to Bill Gates do them in the past. There's lots of different subreddits where you can run them. I've also at previous institutions organized them in partnership with moderators for different subreddits. So again, you have them on board. They know you're coming in and you, they know that you're a university. That's a really great public engagement opportunity. You get to share the research. Your academics get to kind of just talk about what they do. And it's just a really lovely moment to just take it to that next level. If you're not just sharing, you're not just kind of telling people, but you're actually engaging with them. I'd really love to do more of those. You know, what's, what's cool is these comments that you have on these posts, right? I, I assume some of them might give you a hint as to what some of the questions might be that, that your faculty members might prepare for. And, and the, the mere fact that you posted something today and I got 20 comments, like really does suggest there's an audience there that's like eager to be asking questions. I think it's going to work out really well. Fingers crossed. I'm, I'm really hopeful. <laughs> I, I think that's the thing of like, definitely there's an audience there. And I think it's absolutely worth having a go at. And if it doesn't work for you, that's fine. But at least you tried it, right? Right. And because, you know, I don't bring you tactics that are high resource, high intense, uh, intense investment. This is something that you can just try with super low resources. All right. Well, thank you so much, Lucy, for coming on the show. Let me tell you, everyone listening, Lucy is a person to follow. She constantly shares some of her team successes on her LinkedIn. You'll see some of these really cool stories. It's actually how I found out about this particular tactic. So Lucy, can they find you on LinkedIn and connect with you? Yep. Um, so my username is LG Social, or you can just search for Lucy Guest. I am up there and I will make sure the bio image is the same as my headshot on LinkedIn. So that will make it easy. <laughs> yes. And as Lucy said earlier, if you need, if you need to use a case study to prove to your leadership that Reddit is a serious place for research, Lucy's your person at the University of Warwick. Awesome. Well, that's the end of our episode today. To our listeners out there, I hope you learned something and you try this Reddit tactic and you let us know how it goes. And until you do, keep walking the walk and talking the tactic. Thank you all for listening to Talking Tactics. If you try what you heard today, or if you've got a tactic of your own to share, I definitely want to hear it. So find me on LinkedIn by searching for my name, Diana Kibilds. That's D-A-Y-A-N-A-K-I-B-I-L-D-S. And if you're enjoying Talking Tactics, please rate and review the show because there's nothing I love more than a good grade and positive reinforcement. Finally, if you just can't get enough of good podcasts, the Enrollified Podcast Network delivers with an amazing selection of other marketing and admissions-focused podcasts just for you. Go show them some love. See you next time.